and hello again I wanted to make a video to show you my perpetual motion holder um, a la Ed Leed Scallon he uh, he's the coolest <laughs> he wrote a book called uh, magnetic current and it explains how uh, the south pole he calls them individual magnets coming out of magnets and that's exactly what actually uh, creates your electricity he calls it magneticity <laughs> but anyways out of the north side of a magnet you're gonna have your south pole individual magnets streaming out and vice versa but anyways he's uh, made a thing called he calls a perpetual motion holder it's basically an electromagnet um, this is the north side of this coil this is the south side uh, this is the south side of this coil and this is the north side so what happens is you juice it with a little current and it makes an electromagnet obviously this will stick there right now there's no magnetism um, actually there is very very slightly because I've been playing with it nonstop but it's not nearly enough to hold this metal ruler and actually just a note um, if your piece of iron is actually the length of the two poles without any sticking over the ends I think it's gonna work better I'm making a new one that's why I'm making this video anyways um, there's no magnetism there what I'm gonna do is um, attach the current to make it an electromagnet attach the positive terminal and um, but what what will happen is is that current will just instantaneously then I'm, I'm just going to tap it on the negative and what it what it's going to do is it's going to send those this is the south pole this is the north pole um, being this being the north the south pole individual magnets are going to go this way and out of this one being the south pole magnet the no, individual north pole magnets are going to go this way and vice versa on the other side but anyways it sets up a rotating field type thing this will stay attached here magnetized even though there won't be any current going in there and I'll show you with my compass which is pointing where it's supposed to be everything <laughs> around here is magnetized so I gotta find a spot for it well not quite that bad but anyways here we go I just gotta put the camera down for a second and we're just giving the battery a tap here there we go and now well, we'll disconnect the positive there's no current going in here I and mean, you can touch the leads together there's no current but yeah there's quite a magnetic force there and it's circulating around that loop this isn't as strong as it should be because I have some over the ends but here's the compass it's pointing where it should be and here's what it does so it likes that end it likes the soft iron the coil But very cool um, this is kind of a hardened steel it's obviously magnetic but um, 
if you had a coil on here with the light hooked up to it, apparently when you pull that off, uh, it'll generate light. But the, the one, it takes a couple seconds for the individual magnets to diffuse. But once again, since I broke it, now it's gone. Anyways, thought it was interesting. Um, instead of using it as a pickup coil, I've been reading magnetic current, and I think Ed's using it as a driver um, on his wheel. So I'm going to make a new one with some softer iron um, and less of a U, or actually more of an arc out here. I'm going to make and. Um, see how it works, see if it works better. I'm going to put more windings. These are just coils off of uh, microwave oven fans. They ended up being the same so I used them. But anyways, he also prescribed for these to be closer together, three inches. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to use the softer iron and I'm going to wind them by filer. And I'm going to hook it up to my Dini circuit and then use it as a driver coil like that see how it works but I'm gonna work on making a new one <clears throat> anyways wanted to show you that um, Ed Leeds Scallion is very interesting man um, take care till next time